Blue Origin braced themselves for a hellish explosion that could become a bizarre incident impacting more of their missions. One of the new Shepard rocket which Blue Origin had been deploying to shine the victory they achieved in space just ended up failing during their last launch. This is the same rocket that the company has used for several successful launches. However, Blue Origin had bad luck on this mission, so the new Shepard booster blew up which will cost the company millions of dollars. What exactly made Blue Origin's new Shepard blow up on its 23rd mission and how did the FAA react to it? Let's find out in today's video. Blue Origin did not foresee any failure at all. The company only wanted to send 36 instruments into space. Of course, the use of the instruments was not revealed. Jeff Bezos and actor William Shatner once took a flight in the New Shepard. It made headlines and the company marked it as one of the successful flights that took off to the lower Earth orbit with humans on board the same New Shepard rocket. Now just picture the consequences for Blue Origin if the New Shepard had been involved in this accident when Jeff Bezos was on board. It would have been a blow to the company, but thankfully, that didn't happen. One minute and four seconds after liftoff, just at an altitude of about 8.05 kilometers above the ground, the BE-3 exhaust plume changed color slightly, and immediately after that, a large burst of flame erupted from the base of the rocket. In the initial moments of the flight, looks like everything was proceeding normally as the rocket roared away. After less than a second, the abort mortar on the new Shepard started up and immediately it pushed the capsule with a high velocity upward from the failed booster. Roughly one minute after the abort was initiated, three small drogue parachutes were deployed to stabilize and slow the capsule, followed by the deployment of three main parachutes, which brought the spacecraft to a relatively gentle landing in the West Texas desert while stirring up a cloud of dust. On the other hand, the malfunctioning booster blew up with a big blast, breaking up the first stage capsule and burning down. The emergency motor system of the capsule went into action almost immediately, ejecting the ship away from the malfunctioning rocket so it could return to Earth unharmed by a parachute. Now picture this, what would happen if there were people on board the rocket when it exploded? Obviously, there will be injuries and it would be even worse if someone's life is lost. But even if no one dies, such a disaster will discourage people from traveling into space in the future. And yeah, even you would be scared too. Many people today are interested in the idea of traveling to space, but would not want to be in any spacecraft that is actually traveling to space because they are scared of being victims of a crash. But only astronauts who travel in spacecraft have a different feeling and they are aware that their lives are in danger during any flight. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA, is currently investigating the New Shepard's failure, which will be a setback for Blue Origin because the company will not launch the New Shepard rocket into space unless the FAA permits it to do so. Hence, from now on, Blue Origin will have to wait for launch approval from the FAA before conducting any kind of test flight. And you should be able to recall how the FAA dealt with SpaceX, right? This is now Blue Origin's turn to face the FAA's delay. Before the new Shepard vehicle can return to flight, the FAA will determine whether any system, process or procedure related to the mishap affected public safety, the agency said in a statement. This is standard practice for all mishap investigations. The FAA is responsible for protecting the public during commercial space transportation launch and re-entry operations. In a statement, the FAA said it would oversee the accident investigation into the crash's mishap because the capsule landed safely and the booster caused severe hazard in the area it impacted. Gracefully, no injuries or public property damage have been reported. You need to be aware that the Federal Aviation Administration will need to step in and do its job in the event of any spacecraft crash that has the potential to cause harm to life and properties, and your project will be put on hold until after the investigations have been completed. Before New Shepard is launched again, the FAA will determine whether any system, process or procedure related to the mishap affected public safety. The accident happened at the same time the Federal Aviation Administration and the National Transportation Safety Board were trying to figure out who was in charge of looking into crashes in spaceflight. The agencies made a deal that shows how they'll work together if something goes wrong. The NTSB would be in charge of any commercial space accidents that killed, seriously hurt people or damaged property that had nothing to do with the launch. The new Shepard system was developed by Blue Origin, owned by the founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. Its purpose is to transport passengers and cargo to the lower Earth orbit around 65 miles above the Earth. 
Once it gets to Leo, the capsule will have 3 minutes of weightlessness before arcing over the top of the trajectory and shooting out a parachute assisted landing near the launch pad. The flight, called NS-23, marked the first launch of a new Shepard without any crew on board in more than a year and was the fourth mission to take place in 2022. The rocket and capsule system have successfully carried 31 passengers as part of Blue Origin's suborbital space tourism business. During these flights, paying passengers will be transported to LEO where they spend a few minutes feeling the microgravity on the rim of space before their capsule is guided back to Earth by parachutes. The crashed rocket had taken off eight times, however, it was not immediately known whether any of those flights had human passengers. Before Blue Origin's first crewed flight, New Shepard successfully completed 15 uncrewed test flights. Bezos was one of the passengers on six of the most recent eight voyages, which began in July 2021 and went back that far. A capsule was used to carry cargo in two of the most recent eight flights. Even though Blue Origin's human-rated capsule was not involved in the incident, it is likely that finding what went wrong and resolving it will have a downstream influence on the company's flight schedule. Nevertheless, the entire extent of this damage is still unknown. Bezos has not yet made any comment about the crash. There were 36 instrument payloads on board the capsule involved in the crash. These payloads were from various institutions, including schools, universities, and organizations like the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. It was the ninth flight for the reusable vehicle, which the company designed to fly science and research materials to space. This mission marked the fourth flight for New Shepard this year. Blue Origin uses a different vehicle to send passengers to space and another vehicle to transport cargo. So the same vehicle used to transport cargo cannot be used to transport humans. So let's thank goodness the vehicle that crashed was not used to transport humans. Blue Origin wouldn't stomach the extreme dismay. Luckily, there weren't any passengers on board as the capsule was pulling some serious Gs. It would have been a hell of a ride and not a pleasant one at that. The landing thrusters actually helped to prevent a hard landing. The good aspect of this was that the escape system seemed to work just as it was designed. From the looks, even though humans were onboarding the flight, we can predict that they would survive. The highest it will be a minor injury. On a serious note, Blue Origin cannot even keep its suborbital flights operating without disaster. They have done only 22 flights in 10 years, yet still pushing further to win SpaceX in the space race, while SpaceX will be doing around 100 orbital flights or more by next year. Let us take a flashback to last year's interview with Gary Lay, the senior director of the new Shepard design team. He said that the flights are just the tip of the iceberg, the part that floats above the water people can see. We test the vehicle on the ground, the components, the software, many many more times than we fly them. Up to the point where when we do the flight tests, we're actually pretty confident it's going to work. But it's quite shocking that after all these claims, the new Shepard, which must trust has been invested in, still got brown up. Let's applaud Blue Origin engineers for a top-notch engineering concept of safety systems that took over. It proves that in the event of a human payload, the riders would have been protected. Will you wish to go on Blue Origin's next launch flight inside the new Shepard passenger rocket? You might think it twice while you take a look into Blue Origin BE-4's failure and its million dollars lost was a total disaster.